In this video, we'll learn how to create log style audit on a remedy form. Auditing is a measure with which you can keep the track of data changes on any remedy form except the display only forms. These are the two styles of audit available, out of which we'll be focusing on log style audit in this video. Log style audit records data from the main form into a log form. So a log form is a regular form that serves as the destination for data audited in the main form. It lies on the same server as the main form. However, it contains only audit specific fields from the main form, which is unlike the form style audit form, which has all the fields from the main form. As I said, the log form does not contains the same field as the main form. So in addition to the core fields, the log form contains the following fields, out of which these fields are important. Action field holds the action that triggers the audit, whether it was a set, create, delete or merge entry. Fields changed contains the database name of the audited field which got modified. And log field contains the field value pairs that represent the modification on the main form. Auditing is not available out of the box for some of the application like Remedy Knowledge Management. So if you would like to track the data changes done on a knowledge article, for instance, the product, product categorization fields, then you may create log style audit on RKM Knowledge Article Manager form. Let's see how this can be done. Login into your server using Remedy Developer Studio and search for RKM Knowledge Article Manager form. Create its overlay and once that is done, create the view overlay of this form. Go under the definitions tab, under other definition section, select the overlay type as override. Under the audit section, select the audit style as log, audit state as enable, audit only change field set to yes and under the log forms we have to specify the name of the form which we'll be creating so the form which we'll be specifying over here will serve as the form which we'll be creating for the auditing purpose so whenever you configure the main form for a log style audit you specify the name of the log form here and as the main form gets audited, AR system copies the value from the main form to the text field of this log form. Let's give out a value and save the changes on this form. Now if you search for the form name which we have created, you will see that the form name got created with the type audit. Now let's move back to the form and under the log form menu, you will see the form which we created. So select this form, go to the display view. Now let's navigate to the fields which we would like to audit. So for the product categorization, let's open the field property, select the overlay type as override, audit option as audit. Do the same for all the fields which you would like to audit. Save the changes on the form. Once that is done, we need to flush mid-tier cache. And now let's go to the knowledge article and perform the changes. So if we search for this form which we have just created and perform a search on this log style audit form, you will not see any records on it. Let's make changes to the categorization fields of this knowledge article. Let's set the modified values in the three tiers. Save the changes. Now as we have made changes to the three values on which we have enabled the audit, it is expected that a value will get an, an entry will get created on this form which will reflect the values that we have modified. So as you can see, a record got created on this form with the action 2, which was the modify action. It reflects the form name. And field change field will have the field listed, which got modified. If you expand the log form, log field, it will show the values which got modified. So whenever a 
whenever you perform any modification on the knowledge article for these three fields which we are auditing a new record will get created on this form which will hold the modified value of the tier i hope this video was helpful thank you